Right now, a Wesley Chapel man is facing charges for running a dentist office out of his own home. Today, when we stopped by, the man had very few answers. And on your side's Ryan Hughes is live tonight in Wesley Chapel. Ryan. Hey, good evening. So the man lives here at the Santa Fe at Westbrook subdivision. We walked in today and he came to the door. The setting gives new meaning to home office. Jose Mas Fernandez is accused of running a dentist office out of his townhouse in this quiet Pasco County community. Is that true? No. But no. I don't speak English right now. Fernandez repeatedly dodged my questions about his arrest, saying his English isn't up to par. Do you have a license to practice in Florida? I'm sorry, sir. Then he shut the door. On the other side of that door, detectives tell us they found all of this. Prescription medication, dental equipment, even a chair just like you'd see in your own dental office. Yeah, that is really random. I didn't, I di had no idea about that. Detectives got tipped off about Fernandez and sent in one of their own undercover. Fernandez said he could pull the detective's tooth and give him antibiotics without a prescription for 150 bucks plus 20 more for numbing medication. That's when they slapped the cuffs on him. Shortly after we went to his door, we got this video of the 33-year-old leaving his townhouse dressed in medical scrubs. Now, I also have to ask the suspect if he did this work to simply help people, Jen, and he did not have an answer to that question either. Well, Ryan, I heard you mention he gave the undercover detective medicine. Any idea where he got that? Uh, that's right. According to the arrest report, he's from Cuba, and that's apparently where he got this medication, Jen. Brian Hughes, live in Wesley Chapel for us tonight. Thank you. Right now, you can see Ryan Hughes' entire interview with his alleged fake dentist in the story on our WFLA app.